Hey, it's us. We're doing a thrift store haul video. We've gotten a bunch of stuff that we're going to use to cosplay with. Uh, we originally intend on going to Dragon Con this year in Atlanta, but then we also found out, and I don't know how I didn't know about it, about <coughs> Comic Con that's actually in Birmingham, and that's going to be in March, so we're going to have to work we quick. we got to get done quick. Yeah, because I've never made costumes before. He's never made costumes, so we're totally noobs at this. So we're just going to show you some of the stuff that we've got from the thrift store. And, uh, yeah. Well, I guess we'll start with the suit that I'm wearing. Um, it's a... Uh, if you're a Fallout fan, then you know what a vault suit is. So, about all that's missing is just the yellow stripes, and she can either paint it or, or get it sewed on there. But uh, I, uh, but she just saw this, and it fits me perfect. So, I mean, yeah. so we'll attach the vault numbers on the back. We're go uh, we've decided to go ahead and go with <coughs> vault 111, and then um, there'll be room. I like that it's got it's got snaps right here, so we'll have room to put your bracer on for your pit boy. Yeah. So yeah. it's really cool because he was going to be kind of a um, like a raider. a raider, and since we got this, now he can be actually the lone wanderer, and I'm going to be the raider. So uh, he's going to have to watch out for me. So uh, you want to show some <coughs> stuff that you got? Uh, well, one thing I'm going to wear is monkey. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to wear like a paint mask and uh, take off the cartridge filters and make a um, well what I'm, I'm gonna do is this is a piece I have an old vacuum cleaner that we're gonna we're gonna paint anything that's orange and, and yellow we're gonna paint it all black and take all the little decals off but since it's got a, fi a filter on top I'm gonna use this as like a um, as like a fresh air cartridge for my my uh, uh, breathing mask and this is the hose we're gonna run from the breathing uh, <clears throat> the hose that we're gonna run from the breathing mask to this cartridge, and we got these couple of little cheap belts and straps from the thrift store that we're gonna try and make hold the uh, try and make some kind of a shoulder harness to make to uh, hold the um, the uh, filter cartridge on there. So we gotta get that figured out still, but that's. That's the part of my outfit. And that, that and then I see which ones are mine. Those are the big These ones are mine. Yeah. Old baseball pads that I'm going to use as shin and knee guards, and we're going to age them and make them look rusty and like a uh, uh, like a Fallout piece if uh, if you know what Fallout is. So. And we both got little army. Uh, canisters, so you can't be out in the desert in the wasteland without no, having so water. That's definitely of course, of course, we're gonna we're gonna age these and we're gonna get them mounted onto our costumes. I have shin guards too, so I'm looking forward to. Uh, these are already really good and scuffed up, so I'm really looking forward to aging these even more and putting some paint on them. <coughs> so, but I might end up only wearing one because it's really hard to find sets. I mean, I've got two, but. You know, in, thank you. In the wasteland, it's hard to find sets of things, so you do what you make do with what you find. So I might just end up wearing one, just to kind of prove that point. And of course, I have a canteen too. Somebody thank you. Squeaky. You're so squeaky tonight, you wiggly. She's wiggly. <laughs> um, is that all yours? Uh oh, my uh, my gun. This is well. What uh, show your gun? You got like the little plasma pistol. Yeah, I'm right. a, a plasma I'm a, pistol is a very small pistol in Fallout. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna be like. Oh no, not the plasma. The alien yeah. blaster. Yeah, the alien blaster. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the plasma pistol or the laser pistol. It's gonna be. It's gonna be one of the two. Uh, but this is one that we found at the uh, thrift store, and we put some batteries in, and it, and it, uh, it actually works and makes sounds, and all the lights light up on it. And you gotta use your actual thumbprint to get it activated. So I think um, I'm gonna ta um, tape up all the lights on it, and we're gonna we're gonna paint it like a rusty black, I guess. But uh, still make all the lights show through like a um, like uh, like a future Fallout gun. So 
we're we're pretty excited about about that part. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to scuffing this up and painting this, and I actually. I uh, just got a little tiny little bracelet on clearance at Walmart. So it's a little copper wire bracelet, so I'm going to use it. Thank you. I'm going to use it and make it look like, you know, things are connected to it and it's hooked up. So that's going to be cool. The I'm green gonna... part, I mean, the yellow and blue without paint, but yeah, the green, I'm gonna, I might leave like yeah, that. the green we, we might leave because that kind of fits the alien blaster look. Yeah. And then I have this. I think I'm going to mount it. Like it's, I think it's like a, a slingshot thingy, but we we might make a bracer. I don't know if I'm going to have this done for March, but definitely going to have it done in time for Dragon Con. Um, so somehow this is going to end up getting mounted on my arm, so I can after it's painted. After it's painted, so I can kill people properly. And then I just got this tonight at the thrift store. This is a actually really soft already aged leather i needed a pouch to put on my belt um i got a really cool belt at one of the thrift stores at salvation army cool like real army belt so i'm going to use that and i'm going to take these little thingies off they don't need to be there and i'm going to take off the chain and the strap and repurpose this into something else as well but it's going to be a pouch it's going to be on my side um and then I got a see-through <coughs> shirt. I'm thinking about doing just like a black bra underneath and ripping the see-through shirt up and just having mesh. Of course, the sleeves are not going to be fully intact, and that's going to get tore up the best I can tear it up. And then I got a brown skirt. This is long. What I'm going to do is this is basically going to turn into a loincloth for the front and the back. Um, I'm going to wear little tiny little shorts and pantyhose underneath it, but um, ripped pantyhose, of course. But I'm going to cut all the sides of this off, and I'm going to distress and age this and make it look really dirty. So she we'll see if that works. Fit. She is going to fit because she's not being paid attention to. And then got these at the thrift store. And I don't, I was going to use it like full like this, over, but I don't think it's going to work really. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to just dismantle it, and I'm going to take off the shoulder pieces. I'm going to have a shoulder piece, and one of the shoulder pieces is going to go on him because he needs armor as well. So we're just going to dismantle this and just use as many pieces off of it as we can. All the buckles and straps, everything we can use, mm -hmm. we're going to repurpose. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I found a pirate knife, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hump off of it so it doesn't look like a pirate knife. And then I'm going to Dremel serrations into it and sharpen the blade. And take off the guard. I'm going to take this off. And then uh, we got some leather scrap pieces at Hobby Lobby. The handle's going to be leather wrapped. And then this is actually going to get painted. So it's going to be painted and rubbed silver. So um, this will actually look like a real good killing knife. And I'm going to find a way to probably scrap this on my leg, on my thigh, since my thighs are going to be exposed anyway. That's pretty long, but that's like the size of my, that's the actual size yeah. of my thigh. Cha -cha! Don't mess with me. So, that's our first Star Hall video, and we will be making videos as we start making this stuff into costumes. We don't know what we're doing, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, stay with us, watch, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Monkeys are having fun.